Okay, I'm going to teach you how to find gametes for a dihybrid. After you read the word problem or once the genotypes are given for the mother and father, these are the steps you need to follow. So the mom can be And the dad can be all right so we have the genotypes for the mother and father but we cannot place these on the outside of the dihybrid printed square there are steps to follow for you to figure out the gametes that go on the outside of the punished squares I'm going to teach you three different ways one way you can determine the gametes from the genotype is doing the box method. So first, I'm going to teach you the box method. You have to do the box method with the mom and the dad. Because remember, we have gametes for mom and dad. That is egg cell, sperm cell. Okay, so box method, you make a box just like you used to making for a monohybrid. Okay, R's go on one side, H, H's go on the other side. Then you combine just like you used to. R goes here, H, R, big R goes there, bring down this H. This R goes here, bring down this H. I know you used to putting a big one first, but don't do this when we doing gimmies for a dihybrid. Leave it just like that. Then you bring this R over and that H down. All right, now these are now the gametes that you will place on the, either the top of the dihybrid or the side of the dihybrid, whichever one. But you're not done because this is only the side right now. Let's say, for instance, you draw these on the side of dihybrid. Now you have to do what? Find the gametes for the dad. So you do another box. Place the R's on one side, place the H's on the top, okay? Then you what? Bring this one in, that one down. This one in, that one down. This one in, this one down. This one in, and that one down. As you notice, if I begin with my R's first, I always keep my R's first. So now, I have my gametes. Now for my father, I will take these and place them on the top of a dihybrid. So that is box method. That is one method you can use to figure out the gametes for the dihybrid punished square. Another method you can use is called one, two, three, four process. It's still gonna give you the same gametes, but you do it another way. But for this one, you have to remember four important numbers. You need to remember 13, 14, 23, and 24. You have to remember those. If you do not remember these, you will be in trouble. Because you're going to be like, oh my gosh, what to do? All right. So now the important thing is I'm going to remove this mom and dad that I have to write on top. So I can just put this mom here and dad here. Once you write down the numbers, the next important thing for you to do is number on top of the genotype. One, two, three, four. Do that for mom and dad. One, two, three, and four. Now remember I said you need to remember these numbers because you are now going to put one and three together. So what letters are in position of one and three? That means you have capital R and capital H. Now one and four. One, four. That's capital R lowercase h. 
Now put two and three together. Lowercase r, capital H. Remember, I did not flip these. I don't care if this H is capital. You still keep the R's first, okay? Whatever one you start off with first, you're going to lead with first going down, all right? And then you need to put two and four together. So that's the gametes for the mom. Place these gametes for the mom on the outside of the dihybrid. Then you need to do the same thing for the dad. One and three would be capital R, we need a different color. Capital R, lowercase h, one and four, one and four, capital R, lowercase h. Two and three, capital R, lowercase h. And two and four, two and four, capital R, lowercase h. Now you have the gametes for the mom and the dad to place them on the outside of the Punnett square, and then you can begin filling the possible offsprings out. So that is called the one, two, three, four process. All right, we have one more process we can use to figure out the same gametes, okay? There's just different ways. You still come up with the same answer, but there's different ways. So you choose at the end of the video which ones which one works better for you? So now since you're not doing the one, two, three, four process, we erase these. All right. So you may be familiar with the FOIL method in math class. If not, I will refresh your memory. So now this one is called FOIL method. Okay. The F stands for first, O, outside, I, inside, and the L, last. All right, so this is what I mean. I'm going to erase this again. We just know, put the mom on the outside so we still know this is the mom. And then put this dad on the outside so I still know that's the dad. Okay. So, I'm going to use two different colors so you know. So, first, you take this first one and put it with this first one. So, therefore, you should write down what? Capital R, capital H. You still take this one and go to the outside. So, therefore, you have capital R, because we still began with that one, and then what? Lowercase h. And then the next one says inside. So you take both of these in the inside. So lowercase r, capital H. And then you do the last. Take this one still and go to the last. So we need lowercase r and lowercase h. All right, so you notice that this letter goes to both of the h's. This one first and then that one. This second letter of the R's go to this H and the last H. I'm going to do it again. So this, these are the gametes for the mom, okay? So remember, we always start off with which one? This one, all right? This goes to the first letter of the second letter, okay? So first, so you take the first one. So this is the first one of the R's. This is the first one of the H's. So we need to write that down. So that will be capital R, lowercase h. And then you go take this one and go to the outside, which is the outside here, see, outside. This one goes to the outside, so that would be capital R, lowercase h, okay? Now we do the both in the inside, this one and that one. And so you have a capital R, lowercase h. And then the last one, foil, the L in foil stands for last. So then you go to this one and that one. So you write down capital R, lowercase h. Now we have the gametes for the mom 
and the dad by using the foil method. So just remember, first, outside, inside, last. The first letters, first two letters of what? R and H, so the first ones of both. And then you do the outside, take this with the outside. And then you do inside, these two on the inside. And then you do last. Okay, easy way to remember. Just underline this one and make sure it goes to the eight, one of the H's and the next H. Go to this one, make sure it goes to this H and that H. Now that I went over all three ways for you to figure out the gametes, you pick which one works best for you. Feel free to go back, rewind the video, and choose the easiest, okay? If this one, the foil method doesn't work best for you, go back to the one, two, one, two, three, four process. If the one, two, three, four process doesn't work for you, go back to the box method. All right, hope you have fun figuring out these dihybrid crosses.